Hello, thanks for joining us for another Molly Motorsport Piston Tech presentation. I'm Justin Dossett and today we'll be talking about piston pin uh, retaining clips or circlips and a little bit of the theory behind it. First, we're going to look at the reason we need uh, circlips. Here we have an example of a press fit non-floating wrist pin assembly. As you can see, the non-floating refers to the wrist pin that is not free to rotate in both the piston and the connecting rod. <clears throat> For these applications, the pin is usually pressed in the piston and you can't press, you know, you can't push it out. Press fit is what retains the pin in place. Here we have an example of a floating wrist pin assembly. Floating refers to an assembly where the wrist pin is free to rotate in both the piston and the connecting rod independently. As you can see, the pin can come out, can rotate on the rod and the piston freely. Here is where the need for the circlip retaining clips comes in. They allow the pin to rotate freely inside the piston and connecting rod while keeping the pin contained into the assembly. Otherwise, the pin will be able to freely move in this direction. Here we have an assortment of different uh, circlips that are used to hold the pin in place in a floating pin assembly. Here on the right, we have two examples of internal snap rings. The one on the right uses a typical snap ring pliers to install the one next to it uh, uses needle nose. These designs are typically used in OE and our diesel applications and uh, require a square groove in the piston you know, for proper mating. Next we have the spiral lock design. These locks are typically used in high performance and motorsports applications. Two are generally placed in one groove for added protection against the clip coming out. The last two here are what we use here at Molly Motorsports for the most part. Uh, one, as you can see, has no tang. The other one does have a tang. The non-tang clips are standard equipment in our power pack kits. The tanged clips are typically found in our Pro Series or custom water kits. The benefit of this tang is it stops the rotation of the clip. This is beneficial in some cases because at high RPMs, the clip can actually compress under its own weight and eject itself from the piston. But don't be too alarmed if you, have <clears throat> if you do not have tanked clips. Just an example, we calculated the RPM required for a 4-inch stroke, 6-inch rod, small block Chevrolet to lift our standard non-tanked clips. This application is known to have a very high piston speeds and was calculated to have a circlip lifting speed of 9200 RPMs, so no need to worry. Some advantages of the wire locks that we found is the single piece installation, the lower stress concentration in the piston due to the machined circular groove versus a square groove, and the fact that the chamfered pin pushes on the circlip and actually forces it down and into the piston groove, essentially locking it in place. One thing that we do highly recommend at Molly Motorsports is that you replace the wire locks each time they are installed and removed from your piston. In the next installment, we'll go over some tips, tricks, and tools for the installation of circlips. In the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow our YouTube channel in order to keep up to date with our tech videos. Thanks for watching.